What's up, Jobber Nation? This is Jobber Nation TV. I'm the champ coming to you with my very first sports video here on this channel. Soon to be the number one sports entertainment channel in all of YouTube. And today's topic, we're going to talk about the NBA. We're going to talk about Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, who has been the top the talk of almost all these sports news, all these radio shows, talking about how Phil Jackson wants to trade Carmelo Anthony from the New York Knicks. Let me just say this straight up. Carmelo Anthony is the most overrated player in the NBA today. Carmelo Anthony, while he is talented, there is no doubt he is a talented scorer. He can score points. He does not make any teammates better. He does not make his teams better. And you know why? It's because he has something I like to call the Kobe complex. And this is the Kobe complex where you can score a lot of points, but you're, you're not efficient. You're not a good teammate. You're not making your teammates better. That's why I put Kobe Bryant, Carmelo Anthony in the same category overrated players. Carmelo Anthony doesn't play defense. When was the last time you sat back and thought Carmelo Anthony is a good defender? Honestly, I'm sitting back and I can't think of one time. You know why? Because Carmelo Anthony is not a good defender. Carmelo Anthony doesn't consistently rebound the, the, the basketball. Has he ever led the NBA or even been in contention, top 10, top 15 for one of the best rebounders? No. How many double-doubles can you remember Carmelo Anthony having? How many triple-doubles? Now, let's not even get started on the assists. He's basically like Kobe Bryant, where you give him the ball, the ball stops in the offense. And everybody else, their teammates, is just watching you go one on one trying to score points. Because there's no deny, he has averaged a lot of points in his career, but he is not efficient. It takes him about 30 shots to get 30 points. He's not a, he's not a particularly good shooter from the standpoint per, of percentage. He's not a Steph Curry, who I also feel is an overrated player. He's not Clay Thompson, who I feel is an underrated player. He's not any of these guys who are good at percentages when it comes to the field goals. If you look at his stat line, a usual stat line for Carmelo Anthony is this. 13 for 30, 29 points, 8 rebounds, and what? 2 assists. That's a typical stat line. That's why almost every team Carmelo Anthony has a bid on has not been a championship contender. He basically ruined the New York Knicks. Honestly, Take a step back and think about this. Right now, the New York Knicks has a lot of talent. I don't care what anybody says. When you put Derrick Rose, yeah, he's not the Derrick Rose of, of old. You put Joakim Noah, who's not the same player. You put Porzingis. You got Courtney Lee, Brandon Jennings. You got some other solid players. Yet, the New York Knicks are struggling. A team that talented should not be struggling as much as they are. And you want to know why they're struggling? Why they haven't played up to their potential? There's two reasons why. One is I feel like Jeff Hornacek is not the best coach for the team. That's one. Second, Carmelo Anthony. And I know Carmelo Anthony likes to say he gets blamed for when they lose. He gets no credit when they win. And it's actually kind of true. I'll admit it's kind of true. But the bottom line is this. If you put LeBron, you give, uh, who else, Kevin Durant, you give uh, Russell Westbrook, James Harden, put any other top-level superstar on the New York Knicks, and I, I bet you, I am telling you, the champ is telling you that the New York Knicks would be a title contender. But yet, Carmelo Anthony doesn't make teammates better. He actually drags them down. Yeah, he scores points, but that's all he does. So I know there's a lot of Carmelo apologists out there. There's actually a lot of people who actually can see what I'm talking about, that Carmelo Anthony is not a true superstar. He's not a LeBron James. He's not a Russell Westbrook. He's not even a James Harden. I've always said the Kobe complex is definitely 
taking over the NBA. There's a lot of players who can score points, but they don't make their teams better. Carmelo Anthony is a personification of the Kobe complex. I mean, until Carmelo Anthony realizes that he is not a top guy, that a championship team cannot win if he is the guy on the team, and to put in a Roman Reigns type of reference, if Carmelo Anthony is the guy, then you're not going to win playoff games. You're not going to go to the NBA Finals. You're not going to win championships. Put Carmelo Anthony maybe as a, uh, a second. Maybe if he's second in command and maybe he's a second guy, maybe you have a chance because it has shown time and time again that Carmelo Anthony is not superstar material, not a winner. He is not a winner. There are certain players who are winners no matter what goes on around them, and there are certain players who are losers pretty much. I'm not gonna, I don't want to call him a loser, but pretty much that's what he is because he hasn't done anything in the playoffs since the Denver Nuggets early with uh, Iverson, I believe, or Chauncey Billups. I kind of forget, not Chauncey Billups. I think it was Iverson. And ever since then, he killed the Denver Nuggets. He's killed the New York Knicks. And I heard rumors that he might go to the Clippers for somebody, not even one of the big three on the Clippers. And I think Phil Jackson would be smart. Will be very smart if he trades him away, not looking for a lot in return, maybe a few draft picks, a few solid players. Because if they build around Porzingis, the New York Knicks would be a up and coming contender. You can just see it. You can just see it that Carmelo Anthony is holding them back. And this is nothing personal against Carmelo Anthony because I don't even know Carmelo Anthony. I'm just going by what I see in the court. How I've been watching his career, he's always struck me as a guy who wants a lot of points, but he doesn't really want to win. He just wants the stats. He just wants to be a scorer. He just wants to be a top scorer, but he doesn't really, really want to win an NBA championship. Jobber Nation, what do you feel about Carmelo Anthony? I want you to go right now in the comments below. Tell me how do you feel about Carmelo Anthony? Do you think that Carmelo Anthony can bring a team to the NBA Finals? Or is he overrated like I said? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe because this is soon to be the number one sports entertainment channel, meaning I'm going to come with all types of sports videos, whether it's NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball, boxing, MMA, and of course, of course, the WWE. So make sure you do not get left behind. Hit that bell to get notified whenever I come out with a video. So you'll always be ready to see and hear the champ. Well, people, that's all for today's video. I'm the champ. And remember, if you forget anything in this video, always, always kick out at two. See ya.